Hello everybody, um, today, exceptionally I'm not going to play for you, but I think this video is very uh, important and I haven't found any uh, similar videos. Um, it is about what would I take with me on the road as a touring musician, as an acoustic touring musician. Um, I try to make a list and categorize them upon their priorities into three categories, which will be in three videos. Uh, the first video is about the things I wouldn't leave the house without them when I have my guitar. The most important things. And the second video is about the, the very important things uh, which may you may never run into them. Uh, but if you run into that problem, uh, then my friend, you got a big problem. Because many of these gigs and festivals we play, they are in the middle of nowhere in the fields. And uh, if you run into a problem, and if you're not Metallica, and you're not traveling with your guitar tech, or your band tech, or your road manager, then you should be able to solve the problem pretty quickly. Otherwise, you're gonna see many angry faces. And, and believe me or not, you don't want to make promoters angry because you, they won't talk to you anymore. So, um, and if you are able to solve this problem, you know, and you have the tools to, to solve it, you're gonna probably gonna kiss me because they, they, these things can stop the show or ruin the show entirely. So, uh, the third video is about the things which are not important. Uh, and you may never need them, and, but they are very important at the same time because they help you, uh, they make your life better, and at the same time they help you with your stage present presentation. So, let's get to that. Cheers. So, um, the first video about the most important things, I will never leave the house without them. Um, I think spare cables, guitar cables, capos, if you st uh, play a style like me, because we play fl uh, fusion, flamenco fusion, uh, with Persian, you know, music and, and Middle Eastern elements, <clears throat> we use capos. And the type of capos that I use are different. Um, the most important ones for me is these ones that I use it very often uh, on my all my guitars. Um, they are very nice. They are made by Shop S H U double B. Um, they are sturdy, very very you know good. And when you snap it, they stay there. They're not going anywhere. I also have some extras. This is uh, for my acoustic um, steel string guitar. And at the same time for nylon string guitar, they are, you know, plastic and have a rubber. Very good ones. They are, these are made by G7. And uh, they are also quite very good. And as you see, for example, in my um, triple neck guitar, uh, you see that I have one here, uh, one on the flamenco neck, on the fretless flamenco neck. And I have a small one, which is the banjo capo, or if you, um, or capo, depending on where you come from, or uh, it's called cejilla in Spanish. Um, so, the, and on the flamenco guitar, um, I have it like that, as you may see. And you know, when you snap it, they're gonna stay there. You know. And when I don't use it, the good thing is that I can put it here on the headstock, and they stay there, not going anywhere. So, couples have some with you, you know, a few of them, you know, to have some extras also, because they get lost and they get stolen. And um, strings, very, very important. Have a strings with you, good quality cables, good quality um, connectors, and some cable wraps. Cables are never enough, you know, if you, depending on what style you, you, you play, if you have MIDI guitar, have two MIDI cables. If you have, you know, normal um, jack-jack guitar cables, have some few of them. Um, if you play using stereo cables, have two of them. You don't want to run uh, into trouble in the middle of the field and you ask the sound guy, oh, do you have a jack-jack cable? And he says, no, sorry, I have some XLR cables. So you want to have some extra cables all the time and have them tied, have them, uh, you know, cleaned because such a cable, if you, you know, don't tie it, is going to take a huge space, and they break very easily if they are not if they're messy. So you don't want to lose um, cables. If you keep them tight and clean, 
and you take care of them and you have a quality cable and quality connectors, they're going to serve you for many, many years. So have a um, few of them. Batteries, very important. Have different types of batteries. I, um, you know, have nine volt batteries always with me and I buy this type, you know, this kind of package uh, from Thoman uh, in Germany. They're very, very good quality. They're alkaline, you know, um, cable, um, batteries and they go it's good that they come into, you know, packages of fours. So I can, you know, depending on how long we are going to be on the road, I can take a few of these and they don't take much space. And another type of battery people don't take very seriously is uh, this type of batteries. Uh, many of your stuff, maybe even you don't know, uh, they have this type of batteries. Maybe your metronome or your tuner or even your car remote. Uh, if you are in IKEA or IKEA, depending again uh, from where you come from, uh, they sell it like that in a sheet. Um, you can, you know, just insert it somewhere in your guitar case. And all the things that I'm uh, saying uh, basically fit into a very small bag. You can put it in your pedal board or in your guitar case or have it in your backpack. So, um, batteries, different types of batteries. Have some spare batteries with you. Strings are very important. You never leave the home without strings. Uh, the strings that I use for my flamenco guitar are Tomatito Sauer's Tomatito model. They are high tensions. I love these strings. They, are, they have very good response. And, you know, different type of strings. They, you know, I, these uh, strings, I, I have a, a separate video on these. They're wonderful. They t uh, turn your guitar, your acoustic guitar, into a bass guitar. Basically, they are one octave lower than your um, regular guitar. So you can have very, you know, kind of special pieces played at concert and amaze people. So have a spare strings with you. I, I like to change my strings every one show or every, every two shows to have really um, kind of a um, good sounding. Uh, so when you have, when we are with the, on the cables, uh, have some cable ties. People use different types of cable ties. Some people love to uh, like to have, um, you know, zip ties like these, longer, shorter. Uh, I don't like it because you have to cut them every time you, you wrap the cable. But people do that. I, I don't like it. I, I always have it with me because in case your microphone holder breaks or whatever, you can tie it and you can keep it. So I have a few of these. They don't take any space and they're with me all the time. But um, for my, um, you know, guitar cables, we have two types of these. They're, these are made by uh, Planet Waves. The good thing is they stay on your cable and anytime you want, you, you just wrap it around and you fix it. And, but we also have this type, which uh, our drummer's mom um, makes it. Uh, she's, she's very kind, she makes it. The good thing is that they also stay with the cable, so they don't go anywhere. They stay there anytime they want, you just go around the cable, wrap it, close it, and that's ready. So, uh, some people like to, to um, use Velcros, like in a normal Velcros. I don't like it very much because um, they open it and they fall over. They just they just disappear very quickly, and you lose a lot of them. So these are good because they stay with your cable. So these are um, also tuners. Tuners. Tuners are very very important. Uh, the tuners that I use on my pedal board, uh, both um, tuners that I use are made by um, Warwick. They're very good quality. I like this model very much. Uh, this is the headstock um, tuner. It's very flat, so what you see is basically this. And you can turn it, but the good thing is that I've broken many tuners. The good thing about this one is that it has a very short neck. Many tuners, they have that long neck that breaks easily on you. And I've uh, broken many since, uh, till I found this one. This is really great, and um, you know, it's, it's not going to be broken anytime soon and uh, of course it takes that kind of battery that I show you and um, but the good thing is that it you know it's so flat I can put it with my guitar you know uh, in the case so I never remove it and on my pedal board I have another Warwick tuner uh, which is in the pedal shape and that's great because you know I don't need any fancy um, poly tuner or stuff like that what I need is a tuner um, when it is red, it's bad. When it is green, it's good. And it has a big display. And these are really, really good. So uh, I think that's about the first video. The most important things I would carry with me. Uh, these are the things I never leave the house without them. Guitar cable, spare guitar cable, spare strings, tuner on your pedal board, depending on you're going with the pedal board. Or because I have, uh, you know, 
two rigs, a small rig and a big rig. On the small rig I have to save the space because I take only the most essential pedals. So that is why I have this tuner on the um, headstock and the pedals are there. But on my big rig I have a pedal board with the, uh, with the tuner in the beginning of the chain. So um, these are the things I know I don't leave the house without. And the second video are also very important things but they are with me on the road. So see you there, cheers.